So, this week for Philip DeFranco review show thing, it is Orange is the New Black. Uh, I assume Phil just wants us to review this because it's a Netflix exclusive made show and he's their, they're his main sponsor. But, I already saw it, so you're not making me do something I didn't want to do for the 500 commercials I see a day for it online made me do something I didn't want to do. Yes, but it wasn't you. So, I watched it. Watched the whole show last week already. Um, it's a good show. It's well done, well shot, well written, everything. Has some problems, though. The main character is horrible, horrible person. It's not one of those shows where, well, she has to do things, well, she's kind of a bad guy, but you root for her anyways. No, she's a horrible person who deserves to die. Everything she does in this show is about her. There's even a part where Laura Prepon, I think that's how you pronounce her name, there's a part where her girlfriend tells her, don't do that thing where you just whine and blame everything and everybody else and don't take any responsibility. It's episode 8. I was bitching about that since episode 2. I'm glad the show finally caught on and realized it because that's all she does. Here's every episode. Someone asked her to do something or she needs something. She screws somebody over and it doesn't work. She screws over someone's life, gets some bad treatment, gets some beat, gets some rape, whatever. Rats on them and it doesn't help her enough. So she goes and screws over somebody else. Every episode. Have one where, uh, oh, get this phone. Well, there you go. Went and found the phone. Ugh. And you don't... The woman who is hiding the phone, she's going freaking nuts. You see her later, she ended up in a mental ward being tortured because... Our main character stole her phone and drove her crazy so she couldn't talk to her boyfriend. Yeah, but she's our hero. She has a bad day, gets thrown in uh, solitary. Everyone else is there for two weeks. She's there for one day. Freaks the fuck out. Yells at the counselor, calling him a dirty old man who wants to rape her. And when she gets out, Cheats on her boyfriend while her fiancé can't stand being alone for one day and just becomes a total bitch and bit jumps her ex-girlfriend and starts fucking her. Just... I don't want to ruin the show. It's a good show, but the main character is a horrible, horrible person. She screws over everybody, snitches out everybody, and... Then, when it doesn't help her enough, she cries about it. Oh, I know, I'm the one who did the bad thing, and I ruined this person's life, but it didn't help me! <laughs> oh, the show will drive you nuts. Plus, my, fam my dad's worked as a correction officer his entire life, so I have a hard time with prison shows because in it, every guard is crooked. Even the new guys, even the good guys are either complete fucking morons. Like the female guard, she is worthless. She is only in the show to be used. The main character uses her, the warden uses her, the um, counselor uses her. She's only there for fodder for these schemes. She's a horrible guard. Should have been fired day fucking one. But, and then, uh, the new guard, he's banging, 
he's starting relationships with freaking uh, inmates. Yeah, the new guy's starting relationships with inmates right away. It's like his first week, and he's already got a girlfriend. The other guard, uh, they call him Porn Stash, he's raping women for to give them drugs and shit. And all the guards are crooked. Everyone's crooked in every prison show. There's never a legit guard in these shows and drives me freaking bonkers. But, and this is a show I liked. I actually enjoyed watching it. I sat there and watched the whole thing in two days. I actually liked the show. But the characters are horrible. And uh, Laura Prebon, she was Donna in a 70s show. It's hard to take her serious as a bad guy, as an antagonist, which is why they don't let her be one for very long. Uh, but, I mean, I'd still watch it. It's still good. If you haven't seen uh, Game of Cards, watch that instead. It's much better. Uh, Hemlock Grove was horrible. I only made it about halfway through the first episode, and I couldn't stand it anymore. But this show has boobs, lesbians, murder, drugs, sex. It's good. It's well written. I just don't particularly like anybody in it. Uh, I've been raining for six and a half minutes now without a cut, so I guess that's it. Uh, if you made it this way, all the way through this damn review. Good for you. Uh, thank you for watching, and I'll try to do better next time.